send things over to Todd, who's joined by Katie Chadwell, a child therapist here in Central Texas. Katie, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes on what is a very rough Wednesday for a lot of folks out there. How on earth do you begin to talk to your kids about the situation we saw in Uvalde? I think it's really hard to talk to your children about this because we are faced with issues of life and death that we um, you know, often don't see with children. Um, and especially you know, at the end of the school year where there's so much celebration already with graduation and the end of the year. Um, so I think the best way is just to be really transparent and really honest with your kids. Um, about what's going on. So, you know, approaching them and saying, you know, how are you feeling about this? Are you doing okay? Are you feeling afraid? How do you talk to your kids about their school being a safe space? Because obviously so many of them are going to look at what's happening here, look at what has happened in years past, and they're going to question that. Yeah, absolutely. And so I think, again, it's about, you know, acknowledging that there is a risk um, that these bad things do happen and um, helping kids feel prepared for that. So, you know, reminding kids what they do have control over and what they don't have control over. Um, and then if they come to you afraid, if they come to you feeling anxious, um, letting them know that it's okay to feel those things and giving them some ways to handle that. So maybe that's, you know, making sure you're checking in with your child frequently. Maybe that's encouraging your child to talk to the school counselor or a teacher or a friend. Um, and just reminding your kids that, you know, when, no matter what they're feeling, it's okay to feel it. And that reaching out for help is um, really important. It's really important to talk about these issues. And so, you know, when we talk about school shootings, kids feel really powerless, parents feel really powerless. But I think it's about recognizing what we can and can't control. So teaching your children to be kind to people and to be respectful. Um, and then just, you know, having a plan for if something like this does happen at their school. Is there an age when it's kind of appropriate to start talking about this and maybe before that it's not? Or nowadays, do you just need to start talking about it as soon as they go to kindergarten? So I think that's an individual parent decision. Um, most schools do lockdown drills. And so I think a lot of times the younger kids who aren't used to that, especially your kindergartners, first graders, might come home and ask why. Why are we doing these lockdown drills? Um, and so I think it, how you say it to the children depends on their age. You know, if you have a kindergartner, you're not going to want to go into great detail, but maybe just saying something like sometimes unsafe things happen at school and your teachers want to make sure that they know how to keep you safe. Um, their job is to keep you safe. That's really important to them. So just like you practice a fire drill, it's really important to practice just your teachers keeping you safe if something bad does happen. Um, and then with older kids, you know, you can go into it a little bit more. Katie, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes.